everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, as I mentioned in my last one, I have been wanting to film a charity shop video for quite a while, but a few things kind of got in the way because my last tripod broke. My fault. <laughs> I think the, I kept it in my cupboard, sort of standing up where I should have really put it away, and I think a ladder kind of fell in it and knocked a bit off and kind of an important part, so I've been sort of putting off buying a new tripod but we have one hopefully this is all going to be fine for today and the second reason is last month was just quite busy and I never really got the chance to go to many charity shops or buy second hand so I've just been slowly collecting enough that I feel it's worthwhile making a video for I don't really think it's interesting for you guys to watch or for long enough for me if I just am talking about three things but We've got a little collection here and I feel like everything that I've ended up getting I just really love so yeah I've been trying to be more um, really think things through when I'm buying them because sometimes it's a great bargain but I don't need it or I love the look of it but it's just not going to serve a purpose or really fit in to my home or my wardrobe whatever so I've been trying to be a little bit more intentional with my shopping so without further ado shall we just jump right into it? Um, so the first thing since it's kind of a practical thing and I mentioned it in the last video if you watched as well um, I've been wanting, is it Emma Bridgewater? Yeah, just checking that I got the name right I've been wanting an Emma Bridgewater mug for some time now but um, I just had, hadn't really seen one um, I hadn't really been out and about and um, I actually wanted the snowdrop one because that's my sort of birth flower you know like snowdrops in January um, so I've been just kind of keeping an eye out and looking at their site and their outlet but I think they're all sold out, the Snowdrop ones. Um, so I happened to be in the Edinburgh Furniture Initiative, of course. <laughs> I think this might have even been on their opening weekend. Um, me and my mum just popped by to see what their new premises was like and I was looking at their bric-a-brac and I saw this mug. So it just says Summer Tulips and um, it's been sort of my go-to favourite mug ever since I got it and I only paid, I'm sure I only paid like 50p for it, 50p to a pound um, and I just I think it's really lovely and especially going into the warmer months and I have my window box <laughs> um, and I, I will have tulips coming out at some point and um, so yeah that's just one of my favourite things that I've got recently and I've got some green chai in it from Rosevere Tea at the moment. That's the, the first thing. There's no particular order here by the way, it's just whatever is nearest to me. <laughs> um, I might save one of my favourite pieces till the end, but we'll see. Um, which one should we go for next? Okay, this one's just nearest. Um, I got this one maybe about two weeks ago, and it's a vintage Liberty pattern. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if I can show you. It's a glasses case, so. Um, this part, I'm pretty sure, is leather, and then inside it has a Liberty print, sort of a peachy print with Liberty stamped all inside, and I would assume that this is also a Liberty pattern, but I'm actually not too sure, um, and I'm pretty sh well, I'm not pretty sure, I wonder if it could be silk as well, because it kind of feels a little bit like silk. Um, so I bought it as a very practical purchase because I'm terrible for just popping my glasses in my pocket, in my jacket pocket and not in an actual glasses case because they tend to be a little bit bulkier so I figured hopefully um, now that I have this I'll just pop this into my pocket but because it's so pretty and it's vintage I'm also being a little bit precious with this as well so um, yeah it's good but also I'm sometimes tempted not to just throw it in my pocket because it is so lovely um, and I got this from the St. Columbus Hospice Charity Shop on Leith Walk um, and I think I maybe, I paid a little bit more for this one, I think I paid maybe £6 for it um, but because it is look, the craftsmanship and it's vintage and I just think it's so pretty um, so yeah that was totally fine and yeah it's been another very useful purchase and I'm actually getting my eyes tested this coming Friday which is I really need to get it done because I haven't had a, an eye test in coming up for three years maybe and staring at the camera right now completely blurry so I'm just hoping that everything is recording <laughs> but um, I'm looking forward to getting a new prescription and maybe getting some contacts as well um, but that's a little tangent so anyway that was the second 
purchase um, that I wanted to mention. This one is, again, just another little practical thing that I picked up. Um, I had the loveliest day last Monday with Helen Stark. I'll sort of include her Instagram name here. And she, uh, Helen used to live in Edinburgh and she has a beautiful, well, she, I don't know if you can still get a hold of it. I think she's working on a new one. Um, a beautiful colouring Edinburgh book with all of her illustrations. And she also worked on the illustrations for my books, just the little ones at sort of the beginning of chapters and um, Sort of, yeah. Um, so yeah, we hadn't actually hung out one-on-one -on -one before. I'd been to events where she'd been at, I'd been on one of her sort of workshop events. Um, so yeah, I had the best day and Helen, like me, enjoys popping into charity shops. We went into Armstrong's Vintage, I didn't see anything, um, but I had a little look at their jeans. Um, and we also popped into Shelter, I think, near the university on, I want to say Forest Road. Um, which has always been such a lovely charity shop if you're in the area, I would definitely recommend. Um, and they had these m and purses, which I assume m and have donated because it still has the tag on it. And I just really liked it. And actually what caught my eye is um, they had two of them next to each other and a sort of rose behind them. And the two that they happened to have in front of each other had S and L on it, which is my initials. And that really caught my eye. And then when I had a closer look, I just really liked the colour combination and the lettering is lovely and it was only a pound I think or nine, yeah 99p and I just I couldn't resist it I thought it'd be really useful just to pop coins in because I never have any change um, or sometimes to keep sort of if I'm going out for the day maybe like my camera battery or extra things like that in it so yeah I, that's that's just a little fun purchase that I got last week um, which ones? Oh, okay, this one? Yeah. Um, this one I'm pretty sure I got in a Fife charity shop and it's just a little, um, sort of jewellery dish, I think. And, but I just, the pattern really caught my eye. I just think it's so lovely and it says, um, let's see, circa 1760, reproduction of early Worcester, how do you say it? Royal Worcester. I'm actually not sure if I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> um, and it, the pattern, I believe, is called Blue Sprays and it's made in England and it's bone china. So, yeah, I'm just a sucker for these little trinket dishes. I don't have anywhere for them, although this has been really practical. I've just been putting my rings in it um, and it just goes in the cupboard. I don't know if you guys can see, there's big cupboards behind me and I just pop them there. And when I go out, I just go in there. <laughs> um, it's, it's half pantry half sort of um, utility shed and yeah also just where my jewellery lives um so yeah that's the sort of little bits I got and now we're going to move on to maybe the sort of books um I actually did get more books than this but the problem is because it has been over a month since I filmed one of these I can't remember what books I bought so these are just the ones that I got yesterday actually because um, I popped out for a walk and the first one I got is from a little library and it's the little library on Hill Street, no sorry, Hill End, Hillside Street, that's it, <laughs> Hillside Street and yeah, I just had a little look because I always have a look whenever I'm passing a little library to see. Even if I don't have a book on me to swap, I hand them in regularly to different ones so I feel like that's okay. Um, and I spotted this one and it's called um, Book of Days and it's just random fun facts, little poems about different, the seasons, the months and the days. So today, what is it? Is it today the 9th or the 8th? The 8th. So today's the 8th of April. Um, let's have a quick look. So hang on, I wanted to show you the spring one actually because I thought that was quite pretty. It's probably not something I'll pick up every day, but I just think it's really quite sweet. So this is the spring. This is what spring looks like. And then it goes into the month. So I think for April it talked about April Fools and maybe the origin of that. I actually haven't had a look, but I had a quick glance over the different chapters. And today, let's see. Um, is there anything worth talking about? <laughs> Some of them are just really random. So it says the steamship Great Western, designed by Brunel, Brunel, set off from Bristol on its maiden voyage to New York. It was the first steamship to go 
into regular transatlantic passenger service and that was today in 1838. Um, okay, <laughs> film actor Clint Eastwood um, was elected mayor, mayor of Carmel, California um, in 1986 today. So that's really, yeah, it's just fun facts. I like these little things and so I pick, I'll pick it up every now and then and have a little look when I remember it. And I just love the front cover as well. I thought it was really, um, I don't know, just really nice. So that was something I picked up yesterday. Um, and I also picked up, um, some of you will know that I really like reading and listening to Agatha Christie books. I also really like watching the ITV's Agatha Christie's Poirot TV series. <laughs> so I saw this in a charity shop yesterday and it was only 50p and it really sort of piqued my interest and attention and it's just David Suchet talking about um, his journey with Poirot so it, I think the first chapter is called I Wouldn't Touch It With A Barge Pole and I'm pretty sure I do remember him talking about um, he wasn't keen to do Poirot because I think it had been done before or um, the interpretation before wasn't great or something and it's, it's iconic as well. Um, and obviously he did do it, and it goes all the way up until the, um, I think the last ever episode that they filmed. So yeah, I'm actually really quite looking forward to reading this. I, I don't tend to read non-fiction or biographies very often, but this is something that's quite up my street. Um, so yeah, I, I will be having a read of this at some point. And I think it'd be just a really interesting and light-hearted read. And there's pictures as well. Um, uh, and I just love the cast. Of Par Paro as well, so I'd love to know about their interactions and were they friends. I don't know if you'll talk about that, but yeah, I'm looking forward to having a little read of this. <laughs> I'm such a grandma. <laughs> um, and this one is a secondhand purchase, but I actually got it off a proper secondhand website. Now I can't remember which one it was. Um, <clears throat> but I when did this come out? So this came out in 2014 and I was at university and when I came home I would just pop this album on, well I say pop, it used to be on Spotify um, and now it's no longer in British Spotify, I think it might still be in the American one um, and it's Leighton Meester's um, Heartstrings album so it is still on YouTube so I do occasionally listen to it there but I just really wanted a hard copy because it seems really hard to get nowadays and I had been looking for quite a while and they were selling for like £20 which is just, I don't love it that much. <laughs> I can still just listen to it on YouTube and I didn't know what condition it'd come in so I managed to find one recently, um, I think under £10, I can't remember how much it was. I, I also had to pay postage but it was really reasonable so, and it was in great condition. So that is something else I picked up, I'm not sure if anyone will have ever heard of it. it I feel it wasn't massively popular here. I don't know about America, um, but I just love the whole aesthetic of the album and it has a very like specific mood. It's very dreamy, um, as I think you can tell from the photos as well. Um, I'm trying to show you. It's just very, very dreamy. It's very atmospheric. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased to have a copy of this um, because it's. I, I tend to associate, I'm sure many of you do, associate memories with music and this was very much I think it was second year of university, so whenever I listen to it that just takes me right back. Um, but yeah, that is a second hand buy, not exactly a charity shop um, purchase. Um, I'm going to mention this one because I'm not massively excited about it and then we're going to move on to the last two that I, I'm really pleased with. Um, so I was in a Fife charity shop as well and I saw a pair of black mum jeans. Um, and I just, I just decided to get them because they were only $1.99 and they actually still have the tag on them because I just don't know if they fit well enough. They're just a cheap, they're just, just a high street brand, they're, but the quality of the denim feels really nice. So I'm still deciding whether I'm going to keep these or whether to sort of hand them back in or because it is my local charity shop I can just bring them in and sort of swap it for something else that's $1.99 or put it towards something else. Um, so yeah, this one's just a, it's a thinker. I'm not sure if I will keep these. Um, yeah, I might do some cutaways, we'll see. I'm not sure if I'll, I'll try these ones on, but definitely for the next piece I'm going to talk about, um, I will be doing a cutaway for that because, well, actually, if you watched the last video, video, you would have got a sneak peek of this already, anyway. Um, but yeah, deciding on the jeans. 
they were just so cheap and I couldn't bother trying them on there. Um, I think I had like dungarees on that day or something and I just couldn't be bothered. Um, so yeah, not sure about these jeans. Okay, so this piece is by far I think my favourite thing out of this group of um, secondhand buys. It's this, I would say, is it sage green coat? And it's, it's a, I think it's a raincoat I would say because it has a little hood even though the hood is not very practical because it's not very big. Um, and it's got sort of corduroy on the inside of the hood that's just a slightly darker green and I just love that little detail and it has the same, oh no it does not, oh yeah it does, um, I thought it was on the sleeves but it's on the, the sleeves have little cuffs, let me show you, um, and it's on the inside of the, the cuff as well. Um, so yeah, that's, this is, oh, I just love it so much, it comes to about my knees I think so it's quite a long coat. Um, these are the buttons, nothing too special but I do like them and they're all um, attached with a button at the back which is just such a nice quality detail and where is it from? It's from C&A which my mom had heard of but I've, I've never actually heard of C&A and, a. and um, I think it does say it's semi waterproof but you can reproof it if it's dry cleaned apparently. Um, Apparently, it's a size 18, and I don't quite understand that because it's not very big on me. I would have said it fits more like a size 10, maybe a 12, a push. But apparently, it's a size 18, and I wonder if that's how it got left um, in the charity shop because it was really reasonable. I think it was maybe 2.99, um, but because it was hanging with the size 18s, I just wonder if maybe people weren't trying on that would fit, I don't know, because it, it fits me um, quite well, so I'm a bit confused by the sizing. Um, but yeah, for some reason I think the, the colour caught my attention because it's one of my favourite colours at the moment and I just thought I would try it on just to see and I, I'm so pleased I did. And there's another label here actually, it says Canada on it um, and it says made in the Republic of Ireland. Um, so yeah, I just love all these little details when you get on older pieces and the cuffs are definitely a favourite of mine. I don't think it really shows but um, I don't have any coats that have cuffs quite like this. Um, so yeah, this is a favourite. Oh, eat, oh, there's more corduroy. All these details look on the inside of the pockets as well is more of this sort of darker corduroy. And yeah, under the collar as well. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> so I will insert a cutaway at some point, um, well probably now, I'll have to film it at some point is what I was meaning, um, to show you what it's like on. But yeah, it's already, I've worn it so many times already and you know, well not maybe you don't know, but um, I do have a little bit of a coat buying, um, not addiction, I wouldn't say addiction, but I love looking at coats in charity shops and I love collecting them and I have that cupboard there um, is filled with all different sizes of coats, um, so yeah, I, I was on a bit of a coat buying ban, but I just had to, I just gave in and I had to buy this one, especially since it was only £2.99, I just can't understand, yeah, anyway, very pleased that it has joined my family of coats and I think I'll be using it so much in the summer months as well because it is very lightweight so it's not very warm. So I'm quite glad that I got it now because if I'd bought it in December I would have been sort of champing at the bit to actually get the chance to wear it but I might even wear it today. We'll see, it's got quite cloudy now and I don't know how cold it is um, but yeah that's been the star purchase of the month and I should have probably saved this for the last thing to show you but the last thing I think is this cushion. Um, it's a macrame cushion so it has all of this detail and yeah, it's, it was brand new from a charity shop and it's actually um, from Pretty Little Thing, which is very surprising. There's a charity shop in Kirkcaldy in Fife, um, is it called, I think it's the Salvation Army one, and they seem to have some sort of partnership, maybe, I think it's all Salvation Armies now that I'm thinking of it. I've been in another one that also had new items from Pretty Little Thing and yeah, they had a whole, I don't know if that's showing up the pattern very well. Um, yeah, so they had a whole selection of clothes from Pretty Little Thing and then they also had this pillow that was on sale um, which was 
I think maybe three pens. So yeah, I'm really pleased because it matches my sort of bedroom decor quite well. And I think it would actually go in my living room fine as well. Um, so yeah, I'm very pleased that I've um, found this little pillow. I'm just going to pop it here. You can see it in the background. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything that I've been buying for the past month. I really hope I haven't forgotten anything. I've been trying to make notes on my phone. And I don't think this video... Oh, it's, it's 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't think this video is that long. Um, and I, it's funny because I haven't sat down to film a chatty video like this for quite a while. And they're one of my favourites to film. But if I haven't done it for a while, I do feel quite uncomfortable. Not uncomfortable. Um, a little bit awkward. So I feel that this video perhaps hasn't been as natural as some of the other ones but I'm excited to be back and sort of getting into the routine of filming more and I actually really enjoyed filming and editing the last vlog and it was really fun to put together and see the, piece, the pieces I've been buying um, and I'd actually looked back at some of the um, charity shop hauls that I did in I think maybe 2020 because I was still living at home at that time and it's just interesting to see the pieces that are still with me that I love and the pieces that I've said goodbye to because they weren't as good as I thought they were going to be and I did go through a stage, I think many of us in lockdown did, of just trying to buy things <laughs> to keep us entertained. Um, well, we're just coming out of lockdown actually, the charity shops had just reopened. Um, but anyway, I'm chattering on and I need to get on, maybe clean my windows potentially unless it's going to suddenly rain. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you're safe and well wherever you are. Bye guys! <laughs>